WWE SummerSlam, holy fuck. I just got done watching the pay-per-view, and man, is there so much to talk about. All right, first of all, the pre-show was an hour long. How fucking awesome is that? And you had Shawn Michaels, Booker T, and yeah, Vicky Guerrero was there too, but it was really cool to see the three of them debate and have different opinions about each and every single one of these matches. And the match on the kickoff show, Rob Van Dam defeated Dean Ambrose, but it was by disqualification. So he didn't win the U.S. title, unfortunately. That does suck, but it was cool that, you know, not only was Shield out there, but Big Show Mark Hurdy came out there as well. Now on to the actual show. The Miz is the host for SummerSlam. And I didn't realize that this would be an ongoing running gag throughout the whole night of Fandango interrupting him. But that's what we got. Now, you had JoJo coming out to perform the Star Spangled Banner. JoJo, if you don't know, is on that Total Diva show. Okay, fine. She did have a good voice, so I'll give her that. On to the first match of SummerSlam. Bray Wyatt defeats Kane in the Ring of Fire match. Now, I will admit, I'm not too happy with the outcome. And, okay, I didn't really care too much for the Wyatts coming in and interfering the way that they did. But I am glad that we had an Inferno-like match at the pay-per-view. I haven't seen an Inferno match in at least seven or eight years. And, okay, no one got set on fire. But just having the fire around the ring, that concept, that look of a match, was badass. Then, Cody Rhodes defeats Damian Sandow. Really good match, and I'm pretty happy that Cody Rhodes got that big win. World Heavyweight Champion Alberto Del Rio defeats Christian. I actually thought Christian was going to win the belt back, but no, Alberto. And did anyone else notice Alberto with the two black eyes and bloody nose? Like, did somebody beat his ass over SummerSlam access? What the hell? All right. Natalia defeats Brie Bella. And, okay, quick enough match. Uh, but did anyone else notice Nikki Bella and her huge new big pair of... Okay, let's just put it this way. I can now easily tell the difference between the two Bella twins. Anyways, Ryback is a punk. Him backstage pouring the soup on top of the chef was fucked up. Brock Lesnar defeats CM Punk in easily the match of the night. A no disqualification match. Wow. This match was fucking awesome, and it was even better than the Brock Lesnar Triple H match from last year at SummerSlam. I swear CM Punk will always have the match of the night, and Brock Lesnar, the two of them just going back and forth. I honestly didn't know who was going to win, but in CM Punk, I thought he had Brock beat so many times, but no Brock with the F5 and, and how much interference from Paul Heyman, I know. Dolph Ziggler and Caitlyn defeated AJ and Biggie Langston, and I like Dolph, always. Then, the main event. Daniel Bryan defeats John Cena for the WWE title. Yes, yes, yes. First of all, really good match. Not better than the Lesnar and Punk match, but still a very good match. And I will admit, I still don't really care for Cena. I'm, I'm mostly sick of him being in the main event and champion and whatnot. But I will give him credit. That elbow injury he has is pretty nasty. You can see his elbow protruding out. So the fact that he still put on a match like that and went on for as long as he did, I will give him props for that. I also give WWE props for letting Daniel Bryan beat Cena clean. My friends and I debate this all the time about how much it annoys me, at least, that no one ever beats John Cena cleanly. Uh, first of all, Cena wins all of his matches. If he does lose, it's because interference or someone gets screwed, yada yada. The last person that's beaten Cena cleanly was The Rock. So Bryan pinning him, one, two, three. Would I have liked to have seen Cena tap out? Yeah, but the one, two, three cleanly impressed the hell out of me. So happy for Daniel Bryan. And then when Randy Orton came out, I said figures. And I will admit, it crossed my mind for a second, Triple H doing something to Bryan. But I didn't think it would be to help Orton win the title. I thought it might have been during the Cena match. So him doing the pedigree on Daniel Bryan, helping Orton get the win, and now Randy Orton is going to be champion. I did not see it going down like that. 
wow. Uh, I'm a little annoyed, but again, it, the surprise factor of Orton winning the title the way that he did, and now Triple H now being, what, a bad guy? That's really interesting. I am so looking forward to Raw tomorrow night. SummerSlam was one fucking hell of a show. I loved it. I had so much fun with it. Anyways, guys, let me know in the comments below if you saw SummerSlam and what you thought of it. As always, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Later.